my friends, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. In our last video, we continued to work on our latest case, the studio secretary murder. We are currently at McCaffrey's apartment to interview him some more, search his place, probably both of those, but let, let's get started and see how this goes. We probably want to look at mailboxes, right? I just don't know how to dance to bebop. McCaffrey is in apartment six. Okay. Fire hose. I, I would guess, does that mean he's on the sixth floor? No, not necessarily. At least the second floor. I do still really, I do still really like Cole's new outfit. Okay. Five through six. Pillar apartments. Nope. I, I, I read it and still went the wrong way. <laughs> I mean, like, I pay attention, I swear. I'm a great detective. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Terrible shame. Means there's nobody to let us in. You want to do the honors, Phelps? Sure. I feel like we're not supposed to do that. I feel like that's the, uh, that's a bad, bad, bad way to do things. Hmm. You need to seriously do some dishes, sir. Uh, bathroom, probably? This isn't what we're looking for. The last bastion. Okay. Hmm. Hang on. It's the bottom half of the letter. Uh-oh. Take long before you are healed and you can come home. I have put your things back into your old room with a lock on the door for your privacy. And you can come and go as you please. I will care for you and you can return to your normal life. I know your address has changed, so I cannot be sure this letter will find you, but I pray that it does and that you consider what I have said. I love you very much and I pray every night that you are safe and that one day you will knock on my door and the rift between us will be mended. With love and understanding, your mother, Augusta Summers. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Yeah. Again, why are they just leaving stuff about the place? You would think, burn it? Like, s something? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Fundamentals of critical theory. Okay. Oh, look! Bloody clothes and bloody tire iron. Yeah, that doesn't seem suspicious at all. Again, why are these guys so bad at being criminals? He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can write him up for that. A citation, at least. Huh. Nice, nice older lady neighbor who's coming to check on him. You just stand out in the hallway. 
spying on everybody. But the the weapon, I, I'm I'm not using my words correctly, and it's gonna bother me if I don't actually look. The tire iron, there we go, is from the bowling alley. So maybe the two of them did it together. That's a cop from the newspapers. Again, what's with just hanging out in the hallway? That's kind of is that things that people used to do? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, for a second there, I was like, how is the street right outside a third story window? I, it makes sense now, I got it. I feel like he's not gonna come peaceably. He's, we're gonna have to chase because they always run, right? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Running on a hangover, really? McCaffrey? Sit down and we'll talk. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I, I will try. Runner McCaffrey, stay and fight the good fight. Yeah, can you can we stop right now? This looks really exhausting. <laughs> Signature stationers. I'm not distracted. Give it up, LAPD. McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Yikes. We tackled him, though. We did good. We did a good job. Good job, Cole. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be McCaffrey. Unless I don't know. Taranen set him up. Maybe? I don't think that asshole Jameson is going to do you? I don't uh, know. Whoever did it, it was that Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? They have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Yeah. Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. Take the next left. I still think they could have done it together, you know? I mean, we we know that happens. A dual murder team squad, whatever. I'm explaining myself poorly, as usual. I need you to take a left at the next corner. Okay. I feel like this music is a little different than normal, and I'm not mad at it. You're going straight here. Okay. No, no, I don't want to do a street crime right now. I want to solve the murder. You're making your right at the next intersection. Are we going down the trolley lines again? Yes. Yes, we are. I don't know why. Oh. We're here. We made it. <laughs> You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Okay, no pressure. It took me a second to remember who Jameson was. I was like, oh yeah, creeper who... I mean, if, if you like to kiss dead bodies, that's creepy, right? I mean, I feel like it's it's definitely creepy. Um, I, I don't remember who was it. I wanted to interview not... No, 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 no I didn't want to interview to him first. some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Hmm. 
He's kind of gross. <laughs> um, let's... Yeah, he just feels like he's superior and, and can talk his way out of anything. I really actually wanted to interview the other guy first, but it's too late now. Alibi for McCaffrey. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Hmm. I need to look at my, my evidence. So... The torn letter, that is evidence that was found at the scene and in his apartment. So clearly he was at the scene. That's what that should auto, you know what? I don't know why I did that. Um, that's what that should mean, right? So lie, maybe? You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? The torn letter. There we go. How about half of Augusta Summer's last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I now I can go interview <laughs> the other guy that I wanted to interview Skeleton to begin with. Into a bar and orders a uh, beer interview and a room. Mop. That's two. So we need one, which is over here, and. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Yes. Want another commendation. Where the there we go. Why did you run, Tiernan? Yeah, why did you run? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Okay, your relationship with a victim. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Hmm. Hmm. Victim last seen. McCaffrey testifies to seeing a victim enter the hotel with Tiernan. Oh, yeah, that's right. You hardly knew her, but you were last seen with her? Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Because the victim was last seen with you. You're probably the boy that she was buying liquor for, right? McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night, we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. I, I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Hmm. Victim's book found? Aristotle's Metaphysics. The book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. Hmm. I can't prove he's lying, I don't think. But I don't have to believe him. I'm gonna doubt. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. Oh. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute, but, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Oh, really? He did tell us that he had been in trouble, quote, trouble with the law. And it was, it was no big deal, right? I do like it when Rusty gets, like, right in their face. <laughs> he tries to be very intimidating. Okay, alibi for James Tiernan. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night. And she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. Hmm. I have faith in the Lord. Do you hmm. Store owner Robbins testifies victim bought whiskey for a boy after an argument. Yeah. And she, I feel like she's, he's the boy that was, it was going on. But is that, hmm, intuition. I, I feel like I, <laughs> I need to remove an answer. Okay, so I'll definitely go with lie. 
Because again, I don't feel like either of these two are very truthful about anything. That's why I feel like they were in on it together. You're lying, Tiernan. You'd been fighting with her. You fought and- I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! Liquor purchase? She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, you're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. But she would never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a writer. McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. So, when you said she came back to your hotel and you passed out, that was also a lie? I mean, it's, all the lies are getting very confusing. Access to murder weapon. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? Well, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Do I need to kill this guy? Mm, I mean, we know it's tr he does have access. Because we found the murder weapon, right? I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that. And there's no way you can prove any different. But we have the tire iron. That's from... As hard as this is for you to contemplate, I really loved Evelyn. She was kind and gentle to me. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was, it was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. Oh, that's sweet. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. I need a drink. I got the goddamn jitters again. I've got a phone that I can use, apparently. But I want to go back and talk to this guy again. Uh, interview two. See if, is it, see if he has anything else to say. Fall of oil comes from olive. Find another fall guy, detective. I'm done. Okay, well, I guess I can't. I'll just use the telephone now, then. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Oh, really? Beat the woman to death. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for your help. Who was that voice? Where did they come from? That was kind of crazy. All right. Well, now we have his criminal record. Military service. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? Only you're lying. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Well, we have your criminal record from when you were in the military, right? <laughs> Previously charged with petty theft assault, discharged from the military. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge, beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? 
How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Um... Uh... Wow, I... That... He went crazy real fast. Yes, I'm gonna charge you. Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at a prison graveyard. I mean, he killed her over a book? Guy's crazy. Look, he's like all twitching. Like, how dare these women? Like, okay, bye. Have fun in prison. <laughs> Oh, I didn't find all the clues. And I didn't get all my questions correct either. Distinguished. Grovesner McCaffrey can write a tell-all memoir from a cell on death row. Yeah, I mean, like, she got what was coming to her because she stole his book. I mean, that's... And the way he would talk, it's like so egotistical and full of himself, narcissistic, maybe. I don't know if that word necessarily applies, but like, and then a full 180. <laughs> but he flipped out because his book got stolen. Wow. Bye. Have, like I said, have fun in prison. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first, the try for the Naboos. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and Infilate. Mate, we can I'm lose everyone. The lieutenant. You back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the- I think that point is now moot. You have 10 men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Yeah, they've got some communication issues there. Quarter Moon Murders. Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. Thanks. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. So not to pause, uh, <laughs> can I escape? Yes, I can't escape. So yeah, I feel like the relationship between Cole and the other guy in the military who's also a police officer that we saw in the last newspaper flashback, like the one who left to go and just be a soldier. I I, I really, I really hope we get a resolution to that in one way or another, because I'm very interested to see how that all played out. But anyway, back to our latest case. Another letter. No one else but the killer knew about this message. All right, Cunt BD, find me where I hid myself. Okay. What's that? The poetic works of Percy Bysshe Shelley. To suffer woes which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. To defy power which seems omnipotent. To love and bear, to hope till hope creates from its own wreck the thing it contemplates. Neither to change nor falter nor repent. This like thy glory, Titan, is to be. Good, great, and joyous, beautiful, and free. This is alone life, joy, empire, and victory. All right. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. 
looking in wonder up to heaven while yet the music pealed along. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square where I like, where I lay like the reflex of the moon seen in a wave under green leaves. I mean, what? <laughs> if the note is from the Dahlia maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Tarles and murder, not to mention the Mollerts. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. Uh oh. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder. Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be on. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? Supposed to, forget what it's supposed to What does he want? It Where to are you mean? going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy mm -hmm. that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. We going after this guy? The Quarter Moon Murders. Another case broken by the Los Angeles Examiner. If this latest letter is to be believed, Elizabeth Short's killer has grown impatient waiting to be caught. He's sending the typewritten notes to, uh, to taunt us, to goad us into a chase. Any fool could see that we're walking into an ambush, but we may have put five innocent men on death row. It's time to finish this. I feel like their cases wouldn't be over already, would they? Locations? So Pershing Square, something about a fountain. I. You think the right okay. The Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than staying in the garage the makes you a car. Solving all the cases. What? How bad is it? Oh, it's hospital. We don't Come need on, to go to the hospital. Coming. This guy's got a screw loose. Can you the okay, so we need I'm to go up to a forty-five. I want to stop. Our, there's our car. One round. It doesn't matter. We're not building in this city anymore. Mouthpiece first strips off me at the Grand Jury. Another sunny day. Oh. California. <laughs> Excuse you. You almost hit me. Okay. Hang on. Before we go any further, we need to see if there's a street crime. Because we haven't done one in a while. And there aren't any at all. Okay. Off to Pershing Square, we shall go. Excuse me, I'm driving here. All those cases, Rusty. What have I been telling you all along? We've got to get this guy. I know. Enough women have died. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line too, <laughs> Phelps. You heard what the captain said. Yeah. The department is not going to take responsibility for all those bad convictions. Success is a double-edged sword. Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with. Don't turn here. I'm just sitting here contemplating and thinking like, how, who could it have been? I mean, like, I obviously have no idea, but like, who could be the guy? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Keep on straight. Okay. Here is Pershing Square. Okay. Rather you than me, Phelps. Ah. There we go. You know the local hobos use that as a latrine. Oh. Thanks, Rusty. There is a cave 
all overgrown with trailing odorous plants which curtain out the day. Where which, next? Which curtain out the day with leaves and flowers and paved with veined emerald and a fountain leaps in the midst with an awakening sound from its curved roof the mountain's frozen tears like snow or silver or long diamond spires hang downward raining forth a doubtful light I'm sorry what Elizabeth Short Betty Short Black Dahlia Elizabeth Short's social security card. Jesus Christ. That's not all. There's another stanza from Shelley. Can you work it out? Decipher the second expert. You got a city map? See if you can work out where he's taking us. I don't like this freak leading us around by the nose. The poem excerpts receive, and use the main map to study landmarks instead of destination. Okay. Like this is the quest that someone mentioned at the beginning that I was going to need to know landmarks about. Oh, question mark here. Christ crown of thorns. What's this one? Westlake tar pits. Okay. What's that one? LA County art museum. Is there another question mark? MacArthur park Mayfair hotel intolerance set. RKO theater. Union Station, Hall of Records. It's a hang on. A chandelier. Didn't 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 hang on. Didn't it say something about which curtain out oh an overgrown with trailers and like now we're some diamond spires hanging downward, raining forth a doubtful light. So a chandelier, maybe? Let's go to the map and look at the other ones. Maybe the pictures will help us. Hall of Records. A Pueblo. Nope. Bradbury Building. Angel's Flight. Public Library. But then I've also got these, these, oh, okay, they've got pictures at least. Christ crown of the Church of Thorns. Mayfair Hotel. Okay, hang on. What's like tar pits? Nope. I'm guessing the three that are question marks here, I'm going to go to eventually because they, they added them so that I would know where to go. I would guess the Hall of Records because the chandelier and the diamonds hanging down, perhaps. Maybe. Investigate Hall of Records. Oh, is that all I need to do? Just keep guessing until until I get until the game auto updates if I clicked on it correctly. Because that that will that will make that easier for me. Okay, come on. Get into the car. We shall go. Oh, Rusty. Can you, can you come, please? There you go. boy, Rusty. Good job. Excuse me. Excuse me. So sorry. Coming through. Him. Really him. The fuck who killed the Dahlia. Can you believe this? He's leading us. Yeah. Straight through the next intersection. It's his game, Rusty. You may want someone to catch him, but he's extremely dangerous. I doubt if he will give up easily. Suits me down to the fucking ground. We clip this fuck and we get citations. <laughs> <laughs> what a day to be a cop. A pencil pushing Parker won't be able to shove me aside after this. I use this ambulance shooting. 943 South Broadway at Levine's Liquor Store. 943 South. Oh, there's another street crime. Well, we should go and do that for sure. Maybe. Oh, it's in the opposite direction. Okay. Um, since we're nearly there, let's let's go do this first and then we'll go and do the street crime. How's that sound? I think that sounds great. Uh, we leave, I'm sick of star, idiot, to handle code two, identify. 
Cause... a boy, up there you go right now. Yep, that had a boy Cole. Call of Records is... I'm probably... I probably am. I'm so sorry, ma'am. This building? Call of Records, 3.07 p.m. Okay, I'm like, door? Door is right in front of you, Jessica. Oh, the... The nature outside that was mentioned in the excerpt. Can I Flowers help you, sir? Flowers and leaves and trees and things. Maybe. Detectives, LAPD. This is very important, sir. How do we get to the top of the chandelier? You what? Have a little faith, pal. We're in a real hurry. Head up to the top floor. There's an access panel and a ladder in the maintenance room. This sounds very dangerous. I'm, I'm guessing Rusty's, you know, not gonna help. Land Registry Office. Police Department Records Room. Well, you don't see that every day. There, there would be the... Oh. Here we go. Any clues? Let's go. Or there's a first aid box. J just in case. gonna end so badly. Really? <laughs> going out there, Rusty. <laughs> no! <laughs> Better you than me. Be careful. Could be a trap. Absolutely not. This would never happen. He's clearly a circus performer in his spare time. Whoa! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at this, but like, of course, I, of course, I wasn't paying attention, Cole. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Just walk slowly. Walk slowly. You start to overbalance. Stop and steady yourself before it continues. <laughs> Deirdre Muller's missing watch. Okay. Lady Elgin. And then another clue to decipher. From the temple's high of man's ear and eye, roofed over sculptures and posy. Where have I seen that? I don't know. From the murmurings of... Oh, I'm not... Jesus Christ, Cole, get off that goddamn thing. Find the rope, Rusty. There isn't time. See if you can swing that thing from side to side. Get it over the edge, then jump for it. Sweet. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. No, I don't do heights at all. That was too close. Yeah, well, the higher you climb, the further you fall. Let's get out of here. Another Dahlia clue? No, a yellow gold wristwatch. A molar dame. Yes, and a scrap of the poem. Another location. If I can work it out. Decipher the third excerpt. Yes, I know. I was trying to. What if it's Rusty? Can we have that moment? Do you think my partner is the bad guy? I mean, he could be, right? He's always trying to frame husbands and he's a, got a lot of XYs and he doesn't like drunk women. I mean, like, 
I'm, I'm being tinful head, I know. <laughs> okay, so from the temple's high of a man's ear and eye, roofed over sculpture and posy from the murmurings of the unsealed springs where science bedews his daedal wings. Oh my gosh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, map. Um, it doesn't sound like a church, really. Or tar pits. Or an art museum. Okay. Uh, what, Pershing Square, where did RKO Theater? Okay, that's not No, not eternal. Cold storage? I don't think so. Intolerance set? No. Not the intolerance set. Okay. Try again. Can I... Okay, there we go. That's how you're in. Mayfair Hotel. Probably not. Um, MacArthur Park? I don't think so. El Pueblo de Los Angeles. Union Station? No. Okay. Keep trying. And we're there right now. Bradbury Building. Angel's Flight, Pershing Square. Public Library. Maybe? Yes, Public Library, okay. Are we anywhere nearer to the street crime if we go to the Public Library? Oh, we're not, oh, did we miss the street crime? Oh, well, that's not really. I only had one chance to do it. That's not, that's unfortunate. That's never happened before. That makes me sad. Let's take a quick intermission I missed a street crime. He keeps mementos from all his victims. This guy needs to be taken out of circulation. Yeah. He takes pleasure in stringing us along. Demonstrating yeah. how much smarter he is. You can enjoy it while it lasts. Got you now, genius. Coming for you. Okay, look, we're on clue three of probably like 20, so probably not. Really? Did this street crime really go away? Really? It did go away. Oh, that makes me sad. That makes me really sad. Oh well. Next time I play, I'll have to just do it, right? <laughs> it's left at the next intersection. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, but just double check it. Keep on straight. Okay. We're really going to catch the Dahlia murder. We're making a right at the next intersection. I mean, I'm probably not the person who really did it, but it's nice to do it in the game, I suppose. Straight through the next intersection. Straight on. Straight on. Okay. I don't think we're going to go at a boy right. Up ahead, you turn left. Okay. There's the library. I, I'm not going to get enough oomph to go up and over. Excuse me. I, excuse me. I have a murderer to catch. Here we go. This is probably the better way to get to the library. Right? Watch it, will you? Okay. Well, I mean, the cutscene wasn't happening. I had to get really close. LA Public Library, 3.30 p.m. I'm pulling rank here, Cole. I'm not hauling myself up there. Go get him, Tiger. You'd slow me down anyway, old timer. Climb, climb the library. What? What? 
Was that from the clue? It probably was from the clue. He's doing this all in dress shoes. I just want to point that out. I feel like that's not actually possible. But he's an acrobat, our Cole, right? Okay, um, going all the way up there. I do see a ladder. Maybe. Oh, look, another board to shimmy across. Theory we shouldn't die from this height. Right? Just break a limb or something. <laughs> Am I going to have to shimmy my way all the way back down? I mean, probably, but... Uh, ladder here. Nope, nope. There, there we go. Whoa. Uh, getting really high again. Up and up and up we go. Oh gosh. Oh. Up you go, Cole. Don't do that. Ah. Apparently I'm supposed to push the opposite button of, of which way he's leaning. Or the I'm supposed to put the but push the button. Or the direction Sometimes that... a step backwards is a step in the right direction. Is it? I... What? Are we going in circles? We need to get up there. How? What? Um... Oh, no. I went the wrong way, and I have to figure out the right way. Okay, well, uh, I, I'm going to pause here today. <laughs> I know, we didn't get to the top, but on Tuesday, we'll get to the top of the building and maybe solve the Dahlia and all these other... What happens to all the guys that we put in prison? We, we haven't had that discussion yet. Like, how does that still not embarrassed that you know what we'll worry about that later like normal <laughs> but as always thank you so very much for watching please do keep yourselves safe and i will see you again on tuesday with another new la noir video